Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. So everybody, let's go check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite and if you've been in it for a minute i thank you so very much for coming on back father god i thank you for this beautiful blessed day i thank you for keeping my friends family and subscribers safe lord i thank you for how you watch over us and you just stay with us each day through everything that we're going through father god bless this meal make it nourishing to my body and my body to your service in jesus name i thank and praise you for everything every single day amen so you guys, I am back with another mukbang, and today I have leftover joel of rice from Meatless Monday, a little bit of avocado that I cut up. I have king crab that was left over from my boil that I did. I've got some shrimp in here, um, and I just made some egg rolls with it. And to go with the egg rolls, I have Asian zing sauce, chili pepper, soy, and ginger from Buffalo Wild Wings. It's almost gone, y'all. It's good, too, and spicy. So, before we get in, oh, I'm just drinking water. Before we get into this good bite, you know we got to get into this good word. So, let's see what it says. Today, the good word comes to you from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39. It's entitled, Walk With Me in Greater Faith. And it reads as follows. Your faith must never waver, for my word is forever settled in heaven and will not change. Even if every star fell from the sky, and every mountain crumbled into the sea, my covenant of love and my steadfast word would not be shaken. I am not the author of fear. I am not the God of doubt, but the God of yes and amen. Confusion is nothing more than the dust of the earth blown into the wind by the work of your enemy and is not your portion. Faith is your portion. Faith is light that creates, empowers, sustains, and heals. Beloved, when your faith feels weak, I don't judge you, but I do want you to ask me for help. I want you to clutch fear by the neck and thrust it before the throne. To treat heaviness and disillusionment like the spiritual plague that it is. Get rid of it. You can rise above it because I am with you. Remember what I've done for you in the past. Praise me, especially when it is a sacrifice to do so. And I will see you through. We are certainly not those who are held back by fear and perish. We are among those who have faith and experience true life. Amen. God didn't give us the spirit of fear. He gave us the spirit of power. So let's stand steadfast in it. Now, let's get into this good bite. It's done got cold. We're going to eat it anyway. Oh, yes, yeah, cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's all right. It's not cold, cold. It's room temperature cold. Mm hmm. Now, when I made these yesterday, they were good and crispy. But today, being reheated, they're not. And I did not want to put them back in the oil. And I didn't feel like pulling out my air fryer. I'll get y'all a bite. Let's see how they do. Mm. Day two is just as good as day one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Put the sauce down around in here. Mm. Yes, yes, and yes. Can y'all see it? That king crab sitting up in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Woo. Mm. 
Y'all know seafood make me happy. Mmm. That is a delicious bite. So you guys, how is the weather where you live? We got snow dumped on us like no other. Mm. I mean, like a lot. Mm. Mm. If you saw my um Instagram post, I posted how much snow we had. It ain't no joke. We had so much snow, I could not get to work. I had to call in. And y'all know I don't miss no work. I go to work sick and let them send me home. I don't miss work. Mm. But I was up this morning at O Dark 30. Seriously, O Dark 30. It was black outside <laughs> when I was out there. Yes. I had to be at work at 7. I got up at 5. 5.30. Got myself outside because... I knew the snow was coming. That's all they talked about at work yesterday was how much snow we were going to get. So I knew the snow was coming. So I knew to get up early and see how much I had to shovel to get out of here. And first I went out and I shoveled Coco a little path because she had to go out and do her business. Snow was higher than her. She's a little bitty thing. So I had to shovel her path so she can go out. I shoveled the patio and then out like a straight path out into the yard. I knew then it was going to be bad. The backyard's bad, the front's gonna be bad. So, I get out there in that driveway, and it's bad. When I have a double wide driveway, you guys, you can park four cars in my driveway. But I was only gonna shovel out just the side I needed to get out. Mm, mm, mm. And there really had been no cars at all down my street. There were no tracks in the road. The snow came up to just at my calf is where it hit me. Mm-hmm. That much snow. I was like, okay, well, you know, I can just shovel out what I need, get out my driveway, I'll be good. Because I know once I get onto the main roads, it's going to be clear. It's just getting out of my neighborhood. City ain't plowed nothing that old dark 30. They ain't even thought about plowing. 
They ain't plowed yet. And it's after five. They have not come through here. So I'm just a shovel and just a shovel. I had already called my job and said, you know, I might get there, I might not. We're going to see. And they said, do what you can. If we see you, we see you. If we don't, we know. One of the girls said, <laughs> stop and take you some breaks. Because if you fall out, the ambulance ain't going to be able to get down your street to get you. I'm like, for real. That's what they're going to make it down the street because they got a bigger, bigger vehicle than my car. They probably won't get stuck. Sits higher than my car. Mm. So, I did. I shoveled halfway down. Went back in the house. Fed cocoa. Took a little break. Went back out. Started shoveling again. Then the light bulb finally went on. Mmm. Mmm. You know, the light bulb in my head. Finally came on. And I said, Denise, what are you doing? That's what I said to myself. You know, sometimes you got to talk to yourself. I said, what are you doing? Y'all here busting your back, shoveling the snow. Why? Why are you doing that? Because as deep the snow is, as deep as the snow is in your driveway, it's the same deepness in the street that no cars and no plow truck has flattened down, moved, or anything yet. So what's the point of you shoveling yourself out your driveway if you can't get down your street? <laughs> You're just going to get stuck in the street. Y'all... I turned around, went back in the house, put that shovel down, called my job and said, I ain't coming. The city did not, did not plow the street. Yes, I can get out my driveway if I keep shoveling, but I can't get off my street. I can't get out of my neighborhood. So, yeah. See y'all tomorrow. Mm, mm, mm. Where'd that go? Something dropped. Here it go. Mm, mm. Some crap. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to eat it. Yes, I am. So anyway, needless to say, I had a snow day today. And later that morning, I called a friend, which at 5.30, I'm not calling anybody. Anybody up? Well, people are up, but the person I need it. I had to wait. So, I called. And they had somebody come and shovel my, or plow, actually, my driveway. Around about 11 o'clock. I was scheduled to work 7 to 3. So, and I know if I couldn't get in, probably some other people couldn't have gotten in. So I called my job and I said, hey, I'm plowed out. The city still hasn't plowed, but cars and trucks have gone up and down the street now. I can probably just follow their tracks and get out of the neighborhood. You still want me to come in to work? They said no. Because I would have went in for about four hours. They said no, never mind. Be good. So... Snow day for me. Luckily, it has stopped snowing. It's not supposed to snow anymore, at least not enough to where I'm snowed in again tomorrow. Because I got to get up at old dark 30 again to get there. So, mm. that was good. So that's what happened to me today. Snow day, crafting, hanging at home, and enjoying myself. 
just relaxing. So you guys, I'm done. I'm not stuffed, but I'm I'm good. That was really good. I made eight of those. I ate two yesterday. This is leftovers, <laughs> and I'll be eating two more tomorrow because I'm mm, good to me. Huh. So you guys, I thank you for joining me. I really do. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new family members. I love you so much. I just want each and every one of you to know, old and new, none of this, absolutely, absolutely none of this happens without you. So if you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Show me out, show me out, show me out, y'all. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I truly believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow in another video. <laughs> Bye.